Hello friends. I'm going to open another bag I got from a uh, secondhand store. This one was $20. And I saw some things I really liked in here, so I went ahead and got it. Um, I have my jeweler's loop, my other little loop, so that I can show you if I find anything exciting, and a magnet. And then I have my bags from Walmart, all different sizes, that I bag them and donate them or label them if they're of value. <coughs> and see my other video on my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. And, uh... It's something like telling the difference between silver and gold, um, or how to sell junk from silver and gold, something like that. Anyway, um, so check that out, and I and I explain what why I'm saving it and how I'm saving it and that kind of thing. Okay, that is kind of fun. I have a daughter that I know would love that, so I'm going to put that in the the key pile over here and bag it for her. I'll bag them later. I don't want to take the time to bag them, but I, I have all the different size bags that I would go ahead and put them in. That also is something she would love, I think, you know. You never really know until they actually see them, but that is also something I think she would like. She has a super long neck and loves those bigger things. Personally, I'm a little bit too big in the chest to enjoy <laughs> big necklaces on my, my neck, but... Um, let's see what's in here. A homemade bead conch thing. I'll just put that in the donate pile that I'll bag later. <coughs> yes. And a little uh, shell lay. And um, I explained on one of my other videos. I'll tell you again on this one. I bag these like this. And I have a... Um, a family reunion bucket, I call it. It's um, a luau theme. And whenever we do a family reunion luau, I put it in. Um, and then people can just grab one of those for the luau. Okay. This one looks kind of fun. It's not anything too exciting. It's just wooden beads. But sometimes these can be uh, by a designer. And I'm looking, what you would want to look for on that is any kind of mark on the, the clasp itself. Or oftentimes a designer will have a little tag hanging off right here that would say uh, their mark. And it doesn't always tell you <laughs> who it is or what it is. So that's in the donate pile. But um, if you take some time and look at the mark, then sometimes um, it's a... a popular designer and so that's pretty cool this is interesting it's a little scalp made looks like scout made with the little plastic pony beads um little native american trinket bag and i actually have a decor down in uh one of my rooms my father killed a bear and i inherited that i was very excited it hung in my room my bedroom growing up it's kind of a fun thing to to have a memory of. It's not something every little girl would want on her wall, but <laughs> it ended up on mine. And so um, I think it's kind of fun to have some Native American stuff down there. Um, this is also another one I think my daughter might enjoy. So I'm going to put that in the keep, let her look at pile. So there's all of these ones in the back are for her, and then this I'll make a second row for me. So those all in the back are to check out for that specific daughter. Okay, this is a copper brick necklace, and it says La Bonnie V, La Bonnie V, on that little thing. And then it's got that little, I can't remember the name of it right now, but the scout symbol. It's very, very common decorative. Okay, this is from Claire, so it's nothing exciting. Um, I don't think anybody would actually wear it. I don't know why it doesn't have a clasp of any kind. I don't understand how this would work. So that's going to go into the recycle bin. I'll probably take off the little charm and uh, throw the copper into the recycle. So that'll be in the recycle pile. Put that over there. Um, 
and I would say this is a very cute watch band, however, so you can see it's kind of diamondy and whatever, but these are always really poorly made and they catch on everything. So if you wear this with anything, it will cause a problem. It'll catch and snag. So I say this is pretty much useless. Nobody's ever going to be able to wear this because you can just see it's catching all over the place. So what I will probably do is throw those beads into a craft bag, just one of these little bags. I'll take them out, throw them in a craft bag because look how cute that watch face is. I have a friend that asked me to keep a bunch of different watch faces for a project she's doing and that's an adorable one. So I will give her that, but I will take off these because they're just junky, cheap things. So that one's in a pile of I need to fix. <laughs> I, I end up with a lot of piles um, when I'm doing this, but it's always fun. It's kind of like doing a little treasure chest. I would never wear purple. I don't, but I, like I said, I have a daughter that loves this kind of necklace and I think she might like that. So I'm taking it out of the big weird bag and I will put it into a smaller bag for her to look at. And she might say she doesn't want any of these. And if so, they'll just go into the donation pile, which is fine. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Check that out. Silver strike necklace and earring set. And it was Silver Strike by B. $24, but it has a yellow mark, so I'm guessing it was marked down. But look how wild and crazy that is. And then it has this fun key at the bottom. And when I get to, oh, wait, that key doesn't go with it. Um, when I find things like this that are new and, um, kind of fun like that. I oftentimes will just, I have a box of new jewelry that I keep aside and I let the girls see if there's anything they think they would want or if their friends might want it, they can give it as a gift. Um, so I'm going to put that one aside into the gift pile. That's actually really cute. So I've, I've already, so far, there's like two junk necklaces and the rest are maybe keeps. And look at this key. How fun that is. And uh, it doesn't seem to be exciting as far as um, expensive or anything, but it's just kind of pretty and fun. So you can tell that it's magnetic, so it's not a, 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 it's not silver, or gold, or brass or copper. Um, that key is really cute. I think somebody might like that necklace, so I will put that in the ask my girls, and then if not, it'll go into the donation pile. Um, that's usually what I do is if there's something I think the girls might like, I put it aside in a, in a bag and then let them sort through it when, but I, you know, anymore, they have so much, this will go to my friend that's asking for the watches. Um, anymore, I, I don't really keep much because they don't really like them. Um, because they have so many already. No, let's see if that's magnetic. Okay. I was going to say that could be silver. That kind of has a weird tarnish to it, but no, nope, look at that. It's not at all. So the magnet's the quick way to tell if it's silver or gold. So that's just going to be put aside, see if we can find the other one. Um, a cute little ring here. It looks like it's um, not real because, I'll show you on this. So this is a cute little ring. And if it was real, um, it see that, how my finger's catching on it? That's, it's a poured into a mold and it's usually cheap. And also there, you can see like, it's, it's got overcut and so actually anybody wearing that it could actually cut them it's kind of a cheap dime store kind of a ring it's I almost wonder if it's off of like a necklace or something because it's just weird anyway um, it's not magnetic I'm thinking it might be lead or something nickel zinc I don't know. It's weird. It's just going to go in the recycle pile. It's not anything anybody's going to want. Okay, there's an owl that is new. Ooh, look, there's two owls. <laughs> One is blue and kind of um, autumn-y color there. So I can get them apart. I'm not going to take the time to get them apart anyway. And then there's a gold with the black eyes. 
One's Arizona Jeans. The other one is Decree. Uh, one was marked $18. One was marked $15. Somebody must have liked owls and gotten these as gifts and then just not wore them. And owls are kind of out anyway. But I will put them in the um, new jewelry pile over here. And give them as prizes or something. Um, okay. So there's an earring. Just a quick way to test if it's silver or gold. If it's if it's copper, silver or gold, um, or brass, it is not magnetic. Okay, so there's a little diamondy ring, and it is not magnetic. It looks like it's pre-cut, made like that other one. It's kind of got sharp edges. It's not smooth anything that silver or gold would be worn a lot it then it would be smooth this one's kind of got sharp edges my guess is that other ring was part of a it was probably like five rings in a row that go together um it's just the way that the inside is kind of sharp like it's really not smooth at all so i am 99 percent sure <laughs> and you can see maybe it's got like little bumps on it i don't know if you can see that it looks like it's just a icing's clear kind of ring. And also you could look on the inside and see if there's any marks, but I'm not seeing any marks. But I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's, and I bent the other one just right back. It's, I don't, so I don't know with that one. I'll just put it in her bag and donate it. Somebody might want it, but it's kind of sharp for my liking. Um, Fun. Another big bulky, cute necklace, I think. Although she doesn't really like this smoky glass. I have asked her before, but this one actually looks more like it's a formal wear kind of a thing. You could wear it as an evening piece. I think I have some earrings that might match that. So I'll put that in the maybe pile. But I might look and see if I have earrings that might match it. Okay, this is very weird, unique piece. I have not seen anything like this before. It's got rocks. And then it looks like um, copper or bronze little designer designs on it. And the clasp is interesting. I have not quite seen one exactly like that. So hopefully you can see that. And it looks like it's gold plated maybe or gold. And oftentimes these are marked on the flat side of these so it it could if, if these are the more um expensive type clasps it almost looks like it might have been put on after but it has a, a name me so i will put this aside and i will look up me um, I'm guessing it's a designer because this is unique. I have this, the clasp is worth a little bit more. The, the, this, these don't look, God, I don't know where I'm putting it. That's so nice. Um, these look like they were designed. They don't look like they were just bought. They're kind of different. They're a little unique. So I'm going to look up that designer. So that's what I was trying to share earlier is that sometimes when it's a designer, it it, it might not be silver or gold. It just might be a gold plated um, blurry. Can you see that? So um, that's why I was saying they would label them if it's a designer. So this is unique. This is interesting. It's it's very different. Polished rocks. They, they, it's, it's um, what is that called? Snowflake obsidian is what it looks like. Gosh, I'm having a hard time. Let's turn it this way. It's snowflake obsidian. Um, you can see a little bit of white maybe on that one. That's what it looks like. It looks like snowflake obsidian, and it looks like they're polished up, and then it's got a really nice clasp, which is usually a designer type clasp. So anyway, that's interesting. I'll have to look that one up. That might be worth something. Um, I did have a, it was funny because on one of my other videos, I said Louise Haskell. It's not, I don't even know where I got the name Louise. Miriam Haskell is a designer. So that's not a value because it's magnetic. Um, Miriam Haskell is a designer in from the fifties ish. ish and, um, I've sold a couple of just a necklace of hers for, um, 
over $100. She's very desirable, collectible costume jewelry. So just because something isn't like platinum or gold doesn't mean it's not a value. Uh, as a little feather. Um, that's kind of interesting with the holes in it. I don't think it's of any value. It just looks like a one of those cheap things. I don't know if my daughter would like that. I will put it aside because she does have feather earrings that she likes to wear, so she may be interested in that. Ooh, it's a little velvet bag. What do we have in here, I wonder? It's a um, pearl necklace and bracelet made in China. But you can get cultured pearls from China pretty cheap now. And it looks like there might be a marking on the clasp. So I'm going to look at it real quick. No. And no. Obviously, somebody got these as a gift, maybe, and did not wear them. Okay, so the best way to tell, <laughs> there's a couple ways to tell if they're real. Mm. I don't know. They are not feeling gritty on my teeth. Normally, if you rub them on your teeth, it feels like somebody's scrubbing on a chalkboard. This clasp type is not really exciting. It's a standard make. Um, usually, if it's a more expensive one, it has um, kind of um, embellished sides. The sides are like more of a filigree kind of thing. And so I'm guessing this is not, they're not real. And also, um, oftentimes you can kind of chisel off the paint on a, on a higher up one. But any, I'm not going to do that because this is still a nice gift to somebody. I might just check the bracelet and check the necklace. Hmm. I don't know. That kind of did give me a chill. Um, but the clasp doesn't say normally if it's real they have a 14 karat gold clasp and it's labeled 14 karat and I'm not seeing written on here anywhere or 10 karat any either I'm not seeing anywhere where it says anything so but any which way you look at it it would be a very nice gift in that little bag with the tag on it made in China a nice bet That right there is probably worth 20 bucks alone. So Yahoo for that. And that designer necklace might be worth something too. Plus we're only halfway through the bag. And we've got all those necklaces that one of my kids might like. This looks fun. <laughs> that a bread twizzle thingy on it. <laughs> like why is it so bagged up? Maybe somebody tried to sell it at a yard sale or something before they donated it. Weird is this? It is pewter and it is by a designer, JJ, but the back <laughs> has been broken off and they've put this other clasp on it and then the tail is broken off. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm guessing this is going in the recycling bin. I will double check on the name JJ, but pewter usually is not a high commodity, high priced commodity. And with the break and everything and the scratching on it, I think I'm just going to call it good and throw it in the recycle bin. It just really doesn't look like it's worth anything at this point. And we'll throw that away. All right. Okay. Another earring not worth anything. Um, this one looks interesting. I kind of like this little thing. It's kind of fun. Different sizes of pearls. Sometimes it's weird, but I have found it as designers' uh, marks on some things like this, and they have actually been pretty expensive. I don't think this is silver. Nope, not silver. I will ask the girls on that. Now they might find that um, fun. 
one of them might like that. All right, that's going to go in my luau pile. It's been really uh, fun having that luau box handy. My kids have used it for um, activities for churches or um, sorority type things. So that is definitely not silver, but <laughs> if we can get that off. And I got a cluster of weirdness there. I know my girls won't like that. That's a little too um, weird. They won't like that. Okay. This does not, they're not heavy. They don't feel like they're real. They feel plasticky and they're magnetic. So um, if they were heavy, I would say they might be cut glass, but they're they're not. They're plasticky. Um, that's kind of fun. Look at that. It's like a crown on top of a crown. It's nothing exciting. It's copper. It's got a actually it might have been silver at one point, but I don't know. It's pretty worn off, so it's just a junk ring. It's cheap, but I have a daughter that I think might like that. She loves all crown, all things princess crowns, so I'll put that aside to see if she's interested in that. Um, okay, this one's got a fun clasp. Look at that. It's not magnetic. The clasp is super fun. It's a magnetic clasp. Usually anything that's real has not got a magnetic clasp, so I'm just not sure why it's not magnetic. Because the back does not look real either. But it's kind of fun. It's little sand dollars. One of the girls might like that. Let me double check it through here because it's not, I don't. It is copper plate, I think. That is why it's not magnetic. I think it's copper, silver plate over copper. And that the way you can tell is you can see if it's chipped off. So like you look with the loop and you'll see flakes of, you'll see a little bit of orange poking through and you'll see the, so you'll see the copper poking through and the chips of silver scraping off of it. Let's see if I can show you that. There. Can you see the flakes peeling off of it? I mean, you can see the copper underneath. I think you might be able to. Anyway, so that's copper. It's still cute though. Somebody might want it, so I'll put it in the. I don't think my girls would want it. They have really small wrists, but I can ask them, and then it will go in the donation box. Um, because, like I said, they're not really. Okay, that's magnetic, and it's got a hair on it. Bonus prize. Oh, no. Sometimes it looks like hair, but these little, um, the elastics will start to spray, and it looks like hair, and it's actually just not. It's the elastic, the fraying stuff. So this is magnetic. It's, it's kind of cute, though. I don't know. Somebody might want it. So... Okay, this is fun. This is coral, pink coral. So I'm going to put that with the luau stuff because that's just kind of fun. Pinkish orange coral. I wouldn't wear it. My kids wouldn't wear it, but somebody might. Okay, this is interesting. I have had similar thing in the past, and it has been by a designer. So I'm going to double check and see if I can see anything on the... On the thing. It's plated, it's coming off, but that doesn't mean anything because if it's by a designer it can be plated and it can come off, but I am not. <laughs> I don't think so. It actually looks like one of the, the things is broken, so it needs to be fixed. I'll fix that and put it in the den. Although it kind of looks like a flapper necklace. I might have a daughter that might be interested in that as a flapper necklace. Look how long that is. I'll see if she wants that and then fix it. And then if not, we'll donate it. 
Okay, how fun is this little bag? It's another yard sale bag from somebody. It looks like earrings, different earrings, and they're clip-on, some of them. Let's see what we have. Ooh, silver charm, maybe? Oh, yeah. That's pretty. It's kind of mingled, but that is definitely looking silver to me. It's a cute little purple stone. The charm part is kind of mangled at the top there, but if carefully, I could probably open that up. So another test. Let's test it with the magnet. I Yeah, when I saw that, I thought that was definitely silver. Okay, so let's see if there's a, a mark somewhere on here. Oftentimes it's on the, yeah, that's right there. Let me show it to you the bottom of the heart. I was going to say they are so small, oftentimes they get missed. So let's see if we can show it to you. Hopefully you can see that right there in the bottom. And you have to look hard sometimes to see it. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see if I'm looking at the right thing there. It says 925. Okay, 925 is considered sterling silver. Can you see that? 925. So this jeweler's loop makes it super easy. A magnet just pulls out, weeds out the stuff super fast, and then the the little loop helps you. So that is a cute little silver, some kind of a purpley stone. I think granddaughter would love that for, you know, an eighth birthday or something when they're old enough that they can appreciate it. So what I do with that is you can look on my other YouTube channel, thesecretisgratitude.com, and, and look at what I, how I store them. But anyway, if it's silver, I put it in a little bag. I'm going to fix this one first, fix that clasp first, and then I label it. And I write the date that I bought it. I write that it's sterling because it says 925, and that means it's sterling. Sometimes you can get a little bit less than sterling, 92, oh, gosh, like 8. Nine seven or something like that. Um, this is just a junky recycle necklace. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, just sharing that um, information that uh, it can be less than sterling, but most of the time it's marked nine two five, so that's sterling. Okay, this type of thing. This is not anything exciting. It's uh, like an eighties gold earring with a fake gem in it. One easy way on gems to see, this is not magnetic, it's probably plated brass or something, um, but this kind of thing is really fun for wedding bouquets. Um, girl, if, if it was a real stone, the back would be open and the light would be able to shine through it. So one easy way to see that it's not a real stone is there's no um, opening in the back. Also, diamonds do not have a rainbow effect. They're just dark and clear. If you ever see a rainbow in something, it's not a real diamond. So that's an easy way to test. But these are great for wedding bouquets um, or decorations for a wedding or something like that. So you can leave the stem on. You can push them into uh, the flower or center of a flower or something like that. So I always leave these um, whole like that and I put them in a, a separate container. I have a sister who makes all of the, the cousins and my daughter's wedding bouquet it was beautiful she did it out of maps and made him flowers now this looks silver to me it's a neck it's a earring and there was only one of them in that in that bag it, it I'm 99% sure that's silver probably don't even need to look um it's just not it's not magnetic it looks silver um it's hard though, and, and they're kind of hollow. These things are hollow. A lot of times, if it's gold or silver, the, the loopies will be hollow so that the gold doesn't feel heavy because it, they don't want to use as much gold, so they'll be very light. Gold, gold bracelets can be very light if they're not, and they make them hollow. So I am not seeing a mark on this. So if I don't see a mark, and it's not magnetic, so this is not magnetic in any way. Wait a minute. Is there a mark there? So I check it carefully with, okay, so it's not magnetic. And then I check it carefully with the loop. 
And if it's not marked, what I'll do is um, I will put it in a bag. I have a, a bag of recyclable silver and gold. So I'll put it in the bag if it's something I don't want to keep. If it's something I think I might be able to make a, a charm out of or a necklace out of, sometimes with these kind of earrings, I, I will push these inside in like that, and then I can make it into a charm that I can hang on a necklace. So um, I can do that, or I can just throw it in the recycle silver pile if I think it's silver. Um, so this one I'll probably, um, I don't know that I would ever need that for anything, but it could be cute on a, a bouquet as well. But since I think it's silver, um, I think I'm just going to put it in the silver recycle pile. I have a bag of sil silver and gold recycling. So um, anyway, there's one earring. <laughs> I don't think that's of any value. So we'll put that in the break the back off recycle. I'll use the center for a wedding. See, that would be cute on a wedding bouquet. So I'll give that to my sister for that purpose. These are iridescent clip-on earrings, but my daughter actually has a necklace that we used for a pageant she was in. And these could be made easily into pierced earrings. So I'm going to put those into the, um, I have a, a bag where I put all the costume jewelry that's good for proms and those kind of things. So that will go with that. Okay, goodness sakes. Another baggie. Somebody must have had a yard sale. All right. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Snow, snowflake obsidian. Oh my goodness, can we get the earring out of it? I don't know. And it's got some marking on the back. Can you tell what it says? Let's get them, get the the loop out and see what that says. Can you see what it says? Oh my gosh, I can't even. Where is it? <laughs> I'm trying. It says Roman. So I would look up that brand maker. But you know what? It doesn't necessarily really matter. Look at that. Um, that is from a, you could, oh gosh, what is that from? Oh, fun. You can exchange the center. That's what that is. So you can have the snowflake obsidian or you can just have it be black. It exchanges out. And then look at these fun earrings. You can wear the earrings with its obsidian and then there's snowflake obsidian. So you can wear it with either or so yeah that's definitely cute i would definitely i would wear those i love those earrings I, and i would probably wear the bracelet so yeah that's a that's a happy moment for me so i'm gonna to keep them together i'm just gonna put them in a bag for now but i'm gonna put them over here with that um look up the brand because if they're worth a lot that roman brand i will um i can donate it uh i mean donate it sell it online oh i have a daughter that's probably gonna love this it's copper plate, uh, but gosh, isn't that fun? We have some jars from Halloween that we save this kind of thing and we put it on the lid. So um, that would, I, I open up the metal and I push it down into the top of the lid on the cork and that, and that would be really cool. Or you can open it up like this and then wrap it around the neck of the bottle and then you've got this snake going down the bottle. I know I have a daughter that's just going to love that. She might even want to wear it as a ring at Halloween. So Yahoo! So far, almost everything in this bag is something that somebody would like. No value. Um, or we can... Uh, goodness, where does, how does this work? This was a watch band somebody made. I was trying to figure out why there's this extra heart on it. Um, but it would be a cute little bracelet. They're, they're real stones. It's real um, rose quartz, it looks like. So I have a granddaughter that I that's small enough it will fit her. She loves princessy and dress up, so I'll just give that to her. She loves that. Um, okay, so this looks like it could be gold, right? You get all excited and you think, oh, that looks like it could be gold. But I'll just tell you right now, the clasp gives it away. That is not a real clasp. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm not even showing you. That is not a real gold clasp. 
So. And sometimes now, sometimes I have had, so that's not seeming magnetic at all. Sometimes I have had gold necklaces like this that have actually, the clasp has broke, the chain has broken and they have replaced it with uh, a crappy clasp. So I would test this. There's testing kits you can purchase on eBay. Um, you, it's a scratch test. You scratch it and then wipe a little swab on it and put the chemicals on it. But um, I don't see any marking. Sometimes um, this part, this is an old type. They, they have these on the old gold necklaces. Newer ones have a better class, but this would say maybe 14 karat or 10 karat. And then this side they've replaced because it's broken. But um, who knows? It's not magnetic. It, I'm, I'll have it tested and we'll see. So that's going to go in the maybe pile. This is interesting. What does this say? It's a watch. And I am not water resistant to 100 feet Japan movement. And I don't see a designer. Let's see if we can see it on the back. Do you see anything? <laughs> You guys can probably read it better than I can. Gosh darn it, I'm going blind. Um, let's see. It's got... Hmm. Just got a whole bunch of numbers. Stainless back. Good to 100 feet. Water resistant. Japan movement, back case is stainless steel bezel. It's interesting. It's kind of pretty. And I like that it's uh, elastic -y. I just don't know if it would fit. I have huge wrists and it's tight on me. I don't know. I'll see if one of the girls wants it. If not, it'll go into the donation pile. <laughs> it's really pretty though. I like that. Kids don't wear watches anymore though. I don't blame them. That's kind of cute. Oh yeah, you can get dizzy yet. Let's try that again. And I also have, we did charm bracelets for all my kids. And so, um, sorry, my hands are so dry. I've been working out in the yard digging fence posts. So, little earring. So sometimes I'll bag the charms for kids for later on. Um, for grandkids or whatever. I used them for girls camp. We gave them all a charm bracelet too. That is just, I don't think it's worth anything. It's probably copper with a plate. I don't see any markings on the inside. It has rough, rough on the inside. It doesn't feel, just doesn't look right on the inside. Let me show you if you see, if you can see it. If it's, um, gosh darn it. <laughs> If it's um, poured, usually if it's real, they, they polish it up. Can you see those marks on the inside? It's kind of rough. That's usually poured metals that are not smooth. It has kind of got a weird feeling to it. It feels like it could, and oh, here's a telltale sign. Look at the stone and see it's kind of off center. Anything that was real wouldn't be off center like that. So that's just a costume ring. I'll see if one of the girls wants it. I doubt it. They have small, small fingers. Okay, those are cute little bows that somebody could have hung, that they probably took the charms off of them. Those will don I'll donate those. I don't think anybody's interested in those. Another necklace. I'll see if my daughter wants it. Those big, bulky kind. Interesting. Huh. They're too. This is weird. Okay, that's kind of fun.
So this herring goes with that, but then there's this herring as well. So I don't know. We will put it back on that and see if anybody's interested. I kind of like that. Find a back for it. This looks like it could be real silver. It's a little ring. Let's try the magnet. <laughs> the magnet keeps sticking to my jeweler's loop. Okay, these earrings are definitely not real. And we've got the matches over there. Oh, no, it's not silver. That's a cute, cute little ring. It's kind of like a toe ring. Maybe one of the girls will want that because they can move it. Um, that's really pretty if I have the other one in there. Sometimes when these grab bags, one earring will be in one grab bag and one will be in the other grab bag. So I'll have to see. If not, that's a great thing to go on the... Um, Here's another thing that would be good for um, a wedding bouquet. So I just keep those and give them to my sister, and she makes fabulous things out of them. Wooden big loop earrings. I like wood jewelry, but it doesn't like me. It's too bulky, and I just feel over. <laughs> I feel like I'm standing out too much when I wear it. Um, cute little bracelet with an A on it sure it's not real <laughs> Look at that. yeah no not real but it's so cute so somebody will like that um these are so annoying they catch on everything the little diamonds fall out so sometimes if i'm watching a movie or something i'll just pop with my fingernail i'll just pull these out and pop out the gems and you can use them as rhinestone on when you're doing blitz and bling and glitter things so rhinestone them uh, scrapbooking that kind of thing uh, but if to the point where it, my girls are so old I don't need that kind of stuff anymore when they were little I needed it but I don't really need that anymore and this is funny it's obviously pepper plate why would anybody wear that the kangaroo it's a kangaroo head ring. I thought it would catch on everything. <laughs> it's plated anyway, but you can see the, I think you can see the copper coming through. I don't know if anybody would want that or not at this point, but I, I don't like to put it in recycle if somebody might wear it, so I'll put that in the donate pile. Here's another ring that's similar to that um, blue one kind of the same cheap make-ish. I'm sure it's not magnetic, but it looks like that other one that was just fake. I'll double check the inside, but it just doesn't have the look of, yeah, I think I see copper coming through. So we'll just, I'll ask my girl, you know what, that's not, I know that's not going to fit my girls. <laughs> Don't it, well, it's too big for their fingers. All right, there's a Old diamondy gold looking ring. Let's see if there's any markings on the inside. It looks it looks machine made to me. Mm, yeah, not seeing anything exciting. It's not magnetic, but like I said, none of these have been. They're all copper plate. Um. It also is missing a stone, so I think I'll just put that one in the recycle bin because it's missing a stone. Sometimes, you know, you can get the plate off. This is a rodeo but button. I'll just throw that in the recycle bin. It's a rivet. I don't think anybody would really be interested in that. Okay, this is not magnetic. It looks like it could be real silver. Let's see if I find a marking show you it's like I said, oh yep there's a marking okay so I'm going to show you where it is and you probably would even miss it because it's so dark Let's see if I can it's right in there but it is so so tarnished that you could miss it so when I'm looking at silver I always make sure that I kind of run my finger through it and get the tarnish off 
before I look for the mark, even on big silver platters and silver salt and pepper shakers and stuff, it's really hard. But um, because if it's dark, you can't see the marks. Let's see if you can see it now. <laughs> if I can get this the right way. Let's see. I'm molding it the wrong way. The marks in there. Hopefully you can see it. Oh my goodness. The mark is right inside there. So hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward spot to see it. Oh wait, right there. You see that? 925 right there. And if I think the other one of these is in a bag that I didn't purchase, because I think I saw that in the other bag. So what I do is if nobody buys the bag at the price that they have it marked at, I'll go in and say, you know, are you going to mark that down? There's a little butterfly. It's not, it's not worth anything. Um, and then sometimes they'll mark it down and then I'll buy it. This is interesting. It is a colored pearl, but it's actually, I think it might be on silver. It's kind of pretty. Give a mark. Yep, it says 925 China and a H, where probably a designer or. Let's see if you can see that. So I talked about it. It was magnetic. It was not magnetic, and then the marks are right on. Like looking at it, you could you can't really see it, but I tested it, and it wasn't magnetic. So then you get the loop out and you check. See, look, you wouldn't even know. Okay, my battery's going, so we gotta hurry through this. Okay, so there's a, that's silver. So hopefully we can find the other one of those. Okay, junk. You can tell it's just not. Look at that. Okay, we'll go fast. So oh, that might have another one of those. Let's see, more junk earrings. Oh, I like that shell. Isn't that fun? I'll put that in the, uh... you guys are going to know but <laughs> all of my things. Okay, if a bead like this and a leather like this, if, the, if I need a piece of leather for something, oftentimes I'll just take the beads off and I'll save the leather because sometimes it's nice to have a piece of leather for, um, I have all sorts of weird things I need leather for to lace things up or so I'll take the beads off of that and keep that piece of leather because it's tied on it would be super easy oh look how fun this is this isn't what I was talking about but that's kind of cute it's just a, a cute little bracelet I have a daughter I think will like that one this is what I'm talking about look how cute that is it's like a little boat anchor it's totally magnetic but <laughs> Actually, that part's magnetic. This part does not look magnetic. Interesting. That's really cute. They might like that. Um, another one of those cute little bracelets. I don't know. They came and went, but she might. Sometimes if these earrings are super fun, um, I'll keep them for a costume. If one of the girls wants to go as a gypsy or a pirate or something, that's kind of fun. It's got like coins on the bottom. Some really ugly enamel earrings. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to keep those. All right. Okay, this is beautiful. Holy cow, this is really pretty. This is definitely worth $20. So far, there's nothing hardly in here that we haven't liked. This got damaged a little bit. Good, I didn't break it. Okay, look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Doesn't look like it's missing any stones. It's complete. The clasp is there. That's definitely a keeper for our little dress up bag. Um, this is copper plate, so I don't even have to, if, it would not be magnetic, but it doesn't have the hallmarks of a, a nice expensive <laughs> ring to it. So I don't know that anybody would want to wear it. I, I hate recycling them in case somebody might, so I'll probably just put that in the donate bag because um, somebody might like that, a little girl or something. But look how gorgeous these are. Holy cow. Is there a designer on these? Look how pretty that is. Oh, 
hopefully the other one's in here. I don't see it. Maybe it'll be in the other bag I did not get from the secondhand store. Anyway, I don't see the other one though. So what happens is I think I told you, so there's another gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look, it is here, but it's broken. Shoot. Okay, so that's really pretty. This is why they're here. Okay, so I could probably fix this. So there's the other one of those. So I'm going to try and fix that because I think they're beautiful. Um, gosh, not a lot of silver or gold in this one so far. Wait, what is this? This looks promising. Nope. Wait. Feather. Mm, yuck. <laughs> All these feathers. Oh. So homemade dream catcher feather. That's kind of cute. I have a daughter that actually might like those dream catchers. Those are interesting. Um. This one. Oops. I don't see any copper coming through, but I don't see any marks on that one. Gosh. Hmm. It does not look real, but if you have something like this and it's not magnetic and it's this gold on the outside, but it looks silver on the inside. So that would mean it's plated on the outside, but I don't know. It's kind of, it doesn't have the smoothness that I would like to see, but sometimes what happens is somebody buys it and then they have it resized and the, they cut out the hallmark. So that one I probably need to have tested. I don't see. Um, okay. Just a piece of something off of something. Copper earrings. I just see the one that's over there somewhere. Um, uh, Miriam's palm and an eye. That's probably symbolic somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but I kind of like it because it's on a spring. So I will ask one of my daughters to get some, maybe it's small enough that they can actually. I'm sure it's not real. Yep. So always double check. You never know. So I always double check. Um, just a pretty little dainty necklace. I mean bracelet here. Which you can always double check and see if there's any hallmarks in it. But usually they wouldn't put gold in a it's an elastic -y one. Usually it would be metal on metal. I don't think that's metal. Oh, it is metal. A little tennis bracelet. Um, looks like it could be plated. I don't see any markings on it anywhere. It's interesting though that it is on metal and elastic, but it's cute. I'll put it in the um, dress up evening gown thing. Hmm. This one looks like it could be silver. But I, I think I see rainbows in there and it's a weird cut. But because it's solid, it might be silver. I'm not saying I'll have to check that out a little bit more. Oh, also on diamonds, if you breathe on them, and you can see the fog, it's cut glass. So um, usually a diamond will be cold and it won't. Yeah, China. I don't know. Nope. Um, that's small enough it might fit one of my girls. So yeah, if it's a diamond, uh, you it's cold enough you won't see the uh, smog fog on it. This says I N D. Made in India, so I'm sure it's probably not silver. Yeah, yeah. Junk chain. I don't know that anybody would even know where that that might just be worth recycling. Okay. Good hearing. Um, 
Oh, good. There's the other one of those cute little diamondy earrings. <gasps> Look! The other one of the other cute little diamondy earrings. So we got all of the earrings. This was definitely worth 20 bucks. Not a lot of silver or gold, but... Oh, wait a minute. I lied. This might have been worth the bag right here. This one ring might have paid for the whole bag. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. It's a silver uh, designer turquoise Native American ring. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this whole bag was just worth it. That one treasure at the very end. We almost missed it. I almost turned off the computer. Let me see if I can show you the markings. Okay, can you see? This is why you need a jeweler's loop. Size 10, 925. Oh, am I going the wrong direction? I'm trying to show you the designers. Um, anyway, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Where am I? Size 10. I can't. Too five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and there is a designer SC, and it's copyrighted. Oh, this is totally worth it. That's probably a couple hundred dollar ring right there, if not more. Yahoo! Wonderful, wonderful find. So I will, and it actually looks like it has actually been sized. Somebody has sized it because it's kind of, I'll, I'll show you how that looks too. It kind of gets warbly when it's been sized. Can you see that? It like is a little bit warbly on the bottom. That ring right there just paid for the whole bag. It was way worth it. Let's see if there's any more surprises here at the bottom. Um, that's really cute little diamondy necklace, and we'll put that with the other diamond dress ups. Uh, this, before my battery dies, kind of a cute lacy Victorian y kind of dress up necklace. I have a bag of where I keep dress up things. Oh, this looks promising. There's another one. Two little Victorian lacy necklaces. Actually, three. Here's another one. And it's caught on that one of those stupid diamondy broke bracelets. Anyway, that's a velvet one. That is actually perfect for that Victorian style. If you, my kids are in plays and things, I have uh, several that I like to be in plays. Those Victorian ones are perfect for Mary Poppins type plays. Those are not. That is. Look, it's not magnetic up here. And it's not magnetic there. And it's not magnetic there. There's some magnetic stuff down here. Clasp is not silver. But look at that. That is not magnetic. Some of this looks like it might be silver. It just kind of has that feel. Hmm. No, nope, it's, well, shoot. I don't know. I'll have to look a little bit deeper, see if I can find a, a mark somewhere. It's a little unique. It almost looks like a designer piece as well. Looking at it from this way, it does not look silver on this piece. But it's not magnetic, so it's not steel. I don't know. I'll have to look at that a little closer. Um, this looks like it could be silver, though. Or not. Where's the other? Nope. Nope, it's so nice having a magnet. These look like they could be in almost just tarnished silver, but they're not. So, not there. Oh, but look how cute that is. Well, uh, I have two daughters that went to Thailand. 
and uh, Love Elephants. It's not magnetic either, but it just this is cheap. It's just kind of a cheap looking. Anyway, we can maybe put that on the charm bracelet or something. Okay, well that was definitely cool. There's another necklace. Don't see the clasp. I don't know. Designer. Who knows? There's the back to that one earring. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. It got bent. Isn't that pretty? I could use that on the, the bridal things as well. So, got a lot of fun stuff out of here. Um... Oh, it's a fit. Oh, no, you're gonna love this. Look, it's one of those you go on the finger and it goes around the wrist. Isn't that fun? I think my daughter will like that. Let's see if there's any makers on it, designers. The clasps. These kind of um, finishes are usually a little bit more expensive, so it could be a designer. I'll have to search it better. Anyway, my battery's dying, but. Thank you for watching. That was a super long video, but boy, way worth it. That $20 grab bag was so worth it. So excited to research this maker. Anyway, have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, for another video uh, or a post about all of this and what I do. And you can type jewelry in the bottom search box and find some more about there. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.